Hi, I'm Sean. Today I'll show you how to make this turning saw. I purchased the bow saw kit from toolsforworkingwood.com and I would suggest that if you want to make a saw just like the one in the video, this kit is great. You'll get all the parts you need to successfully make a nice saw. You can download the templates that you'll need for free and use that as a guide to make the saw's six parts. The two cheeks, the stretcher, the handle, the knob, and the toggle. For the main portion of the saw, I'm using quarter sawn big leaf maple. I start by cutting the parts to rough dimension at the bandsaw. And then use spray adhesive to glue the paper templates to the pieces. Now before shaping the cheeks of the saw, it's easier to cut the mortises for the stretcher first. You can do this by hand, or start the mortises at the drill press and finish the mortise with a chisel, as I did here. With the mortises cut, it's time to bring the cheeks in the rough shape. I cut out the shape of the cheeks at the bandsaw, being sure to stay off the template line to allow for the final details. Over at the bench, I mark the surface with a pencil and then use a float to smooth it out. This is done on all the rough surfaces. A spoke shave makes quick work of beveling the stretcher. Turning the handle and knob is a pretty straightforward process. Just mark the depths of the curve using the parting tool and a gauge set to the width from the printed instructions and the template. Then with a gouge or any other turning tool you're comfortable working with, Shape the work by removing the excess material between the gaps. After a little sanding, you should feel accomplished when it feels good in the hand. Lastly, the toggle is turned. The toggle gets an optional taper and a cove for the tension cord. You can decorate the toggle as you please, just make sure it's long enough to engage the stretcher to keep the saw tensioned. A little sanding, and it's ready for finish. I give all the parts a good coat of clear de wax shellac, and then a few coats of spray polyurethane to smooth it out. The brass saw pins are epoxied into the knob and handle and set aside to cure. Here's a tip. Use a rag moistened with distilled vinegar to remove any excess epoxy squeeze out. The blade is then set into place by sliding it into the kerf of the pins. Then the tension cord is tied. I wrap the cord around the top of the saw's cheeks and then tie the end using a figure eight knot, though any strong knot will do. Then place the toggle in the middle of the cord at the cove and start twisting the cord to add tension to the blade. The toggle will rest on the stretcher to hold the tension as you make your cuts. Now you have a beautifully made turning saw. If this is your first time to my channel, I'd like to welcome you and encourage you to subscribe for more project and tip videos. I release a video every two weeks, so you'll be sure not to miss any of those. You can follow me on social media. I'm most active on Instagram, where I post photos and projects I'm working on daily. And finally, you can see a detailed write-up on this video and more at my website. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean. See you next time.